Hey guys, welcome back to the High Tech Software Solutions channel. My name is Afizullah Masudi, and uh, today we're gonna work on how to update our files. As you know, in the previous video, we worked on how to uh, get or read our files from the database and show them in our index page or view. Uh, but uh, before we continue, I want to say that uh, if you guys didn't have subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos on in Laravel framework and uh, for more updates. And uh, don't forget to press the bell icon. So let's start uh, on updating our files. First of all, we need a link in here. Uh, because we want to click on a, a, a link and it uh, uh, goes to our edit page so for that we have to go to our index view which is located in resources under views and index dot plate we want a th here should be action and we want a td and a link the link should be named edit and the href should go to route and the route should be edit save it now let's create our route first by going to routes web file and here we, we will say route colon colon get uh, files and edit and because we want to edit a specific file so we also need our id comma it should go to file controller and edit method and we should also declare a name for our route it should be edit and uh, don't also forget to declare your id in the link that we can say file arrow id save it also save the routes and now let's uh, create our edit view by right click and new file and we should name it edit.blade.php and here we want first of all h1 we can say edit file after that we need a form the action should be a route it goes to update and don't forget to uh, use your id also but before we continue let's also create our edit method in our controller in our file controller because we want uh, that edit link to go to our edit view so for that we can see public function edit and uh, the id that is coming and in here we want to first of all grab the id from the database and for that we can see file equals to file model colon colon find what to find our id after that we need to return our view saying return view and the view should be edit and we also want to pass our file that is coming from the database by saying compact file terminate it and now let's go and work on our edit blade okay we declared our action our method should be post and we also want to declare our ink type which is multipart form data first of all don't forget to use or to declare your csrf field after that we need an input which should be text and the name should be name and uh, the value also and it is coming from the database we can say file arrow name we want another input which should be file 
and uh, the name should be also fine and that's all we also want another input which should be hidden and that is guys for uh, because if uh, a person only updates the name field so we want to uh, send the old file name to this hidden field so for that we want we would say type should be hidden name should be file and the value should be that which is coming from the database for that we can say file arrow file and uh, finally we need our button for submission and its value should be update save it okay guys now let's go and create our, our update route don't uh, we forgot to declare our id here and for that we can say file arrow id now let's create our route in our routes file by saying route and this time we want to post files slash update our id and it should go to file controller and update method we should also give it a name and the name should be update terminate it save it now let's go and create our update method in our controller for that we can say public function update first of all we want our request that is coming from the form and after that we want our id so let's find or get uh, our file through uh, by the id from the database and for that we can say file equals to file model colon colon find what our id now after that we want the file name from the database the old file name from the database and for that we can say file name equals to file arrow file after our file name we want the file path for that we can say file path equals to public underscore path and the folder's name is files and uh, we also want to concatenate it with our file name because this the file is located in our files folder okay now we want to check for the file input if the user has submitted or uh, uh, selected any files to update so uh, we will run the update code for that we can say if request has file and the input name uh, is file so we want to update and uh, else we want to load that hidden input field and send it to the database for that we can say file file field equals to uh, we didn't name name it i think or we name it we should name not name it file because we have already a file field we should name it old underscore file let's go back to our controller and here we can say request arrow old file now let's work on our update updating file for that first of all we need to unlink unlink uh, the old fi file from the database from the database uh, or not from the table first of all we needed to unlink from the folder for that we can say unlink uh, we already uh, got the file from the database and also its path so we can say file path after unlink unlinking it uh, now we want to get our file request and we should uh, it in our f variable by saying f equals to request that is coming through the form file file field after that we want our file extension by saying file underscore ext equals to our f variable and we want the uh, we want to get the client by uh, extension by saying get client original extension original extension method after that 
we want our file name Select, uh, uh, created randomly by saying file name equals to rand and it should be six characters through six, six nines and uh, we also want to concatenate it with a dot and after the dot we want to concatenate it with our file extension terminate it after that we want our file destination by saying file underscore path equals to public path public underscore path and our files folder after that we want to move the file which file the f file Zero, move we want first to declare our destination which is file path and uh, after that uh, comma our file name that we declared randomly terminate it and after uh, after moving our file to our files folder we also want it to save save it to the database and for that we can save file file field equals to file name the new file name that we uh, created randomly okay guys that's uh, all for the update file now we also want to uh, be able to update our name field and for that we can say file arrow name equals to request arrow name terminate it and uh, now finally we want to save all to the database and for that we can say file arrow save terminate it and after saving we want to redirect and for that we can say return redirect our route and the route should be index save it now let's go and try our code let's refresh as you can see this is our edit link as you can see at the bottom it shows our id and if we want to uh, uh, edit or update this file too by clicking on edit and uh, now we want to first of all we have to edit its name we can say it should be background image and uh, we update it now let's go to our database Our file database or files as you can see it is background image now this is uh, the file name now let's also update our file choose file now we want to update it this uh, background image we can select it and update now let's check our database as you can see the file name has been changed and let's also check our public folder as you can see the uh, previous file has been deleted and is the new file uploaded or moved to the files folder and if we open our file you can see this is the new file that we wanted so guys this was how to update our files uh, through the database uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, pl please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates and more cool stuff in Laravel framework. And uh, we will, we will. Be, uh, this was all in this video for this video. And in the next video, we will be working on how to delete our files from the database. And for now, bye guys. See you in the next video.